Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got these uh, two green shaded right triangles, uh, ABC and uh, DEF uh, in the square uh, grid, as you can see in this given uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, hypotenuse uh, AC is uh, three units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region, this area and this area combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I'm going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first method. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC. And we can see that uh, this uh, ratio of this uh, side and this side uh, is uh, 1 to 2. If this is uh, x, then this side is going to be 2 times uh, x. And likewise, uh, for this uh, another right triangle, uh, DEF, if this side is uh, x, then this side has got to be 3 times uh, x. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole uh, green shaded area is going to be equal to the area of the triangle uh, ABC plus uh, the area of the other triangle uh, DEF. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this triangle uh, ABC. And likewise, we are going to calculate the other right triangle uh, DEF area as well. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC. And we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here is our Pythagorean theorem, A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, uh, our hypotenuse is uh, three units, whereas uh, two other legs are uh, X uh, and two X. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, X square plus uh, 2 times x uh, whole square turns out to be equal to 3 square. And now we are going to divide both sides by 5 to isolate x square. So this 5 and 5 is gone. So therefore uh, our x square uh, value turns out to be 9 uh, divided by 5. So thus our x square value turns out to be 9 divided by 5. And now we are going to calculate the area of the triangle uh, ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times uh, base uh, times the height. And in our case, uh, the base of this uh, triangle ABC is uh, 2x, whereas the height uh, is uh, x. So therefore, uh, the area of this triangle ABC is going to be a half uh, times uh, 2x uh, times uh, x and if we simplify the right hand side that is simply going to give us uh, x uh, square and now we can see our x square value is 9 divided by 5 so therefore I'm going to substitute uh, the value for this x square as uh, 9 divided by 5 over here so therefore uh, the area of the triangle uh, ABC turns out to be 9 uh, divided by 5 and now we are going to calculate the area of this other right triangle uh, DEF. And we are going to use the very same uh, area of a triangle formula. And here our uh, base for this uh, triangle is uh, 3 times x, whereas the height uh, is uh, x. So therefore, uh, the area of this uh, triangle DEF is going to be a half uh, times uh, 3x uh, times uh, x. Let's simplify, that is going to give us uh, 3 divided by 2 times uh, x square. And once again, our x square value we already figured out is uh, 9 divided by 5. So I'm going to replace that value with uh, 9 divided by 5 over here. And if we simplify, that is going to give us uh, 27 divided by 10. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region. And we already figured out our triangle ABC area as uh, 9 divided by 5. And the area of the other triangle DEF uh, as uh, 27 divided by 10. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation. 
So we got uh, 9 divided by 5 plus uh, 27 divided by 10. And here in this uh, next step I can tweak this uh, fraction 9 divided by 5 as uh, 18 divided by 10. As you can see in this uh, next step. So therefore if we add these uh, fractions that is going to give us uh, 45 uh, divided by 10 and that is same as writing uh, 4.5 square units. So thus the area of this uh, green shaded region turn out to be 4.5 square units by using the very first method. And now I am going to share with you the second uh, approach. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, right uh, triangle. And now let's make an observation. We can see the area of this uh, right uh, triangle is going to be equal to the area of this uh, right triangle uh, as well. Since uh, both of these uh, triangles have the same uh, base uh, as you can see and the very same uh, height uh, as well. As you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram I have transformed uh, this uh, right triangle uh, over here. And now in this uh, next step I am going to connect uh, these two vertices, this vertex uh, and uh, this vertex as well. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, tiny right triangle uh, and this uh, tiny right triangle uh, they are our uh, congruent uh, triangles. Since we know this angle is uh, 90 degrees, this angle is 90 degrees as well. And these two angles are our uh, vertical angles and they are congruent. And furthermore uh, this side length uh, is going to be equal to this uh, side length. So therefore we conclude uh, the area of this uh, triangle uh, is going to be congruent to this uh, area. So therefore if the area of this uh, green shaded uh, tiny triangle is uh, A then the area of this uh, white triangle is going to be A as well. So therefore uh, we spilled over this uh, green shaded uh, color over here. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, whole uh, green shaded uh, triangle. And now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words the sum of these angles uh, alpha plus beta must be equal to 90 degrees. And here we are going to focus on these uh, two white uh, right triangle, this right triangle and this uh, right triangle as well. Let's assume that this uh, angle uh, is uh, alpha opposite to this uh, side. Then uh, this angle has got to be alpha as well. That is going to be opposite to this side. And in this uh, right triangle if this angle is alpha this angle is 90 degrees. So therefore this angle has got to be our angle beta. So therefore our this angle has got to be angle beta as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, straight angle uh, is going to be 180 degrees. And we know that the sum of these uh, two angles alpha and beta is uh, 90 degrees. So therefore uh, this angle has got to be 90 degrees. So therefore we can see that this uh, whole uh, green shaded uh, triangle is uh, a right uh, triangle. And if uh, this side length uh, is uh, 3 units uh, then uh, this side length uh, has got to be 3 units as well. And here is our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula once again. Area equals to a half times base uh, times the height. And here in our case uh, the base of this uh, triangle is uh, 3. And likewise the height uh, is 3 as well. So therefore uh, the area of this uh, green shaded triangle is going to be a half uh, times our base is uh, 3 and the height is 3 as well. And in terms of decimal that is going to be equal to 4.5 square units. So thus the area of this uh, green shaded region turns out to be 4.5 square units as well by using the very second method. 
Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.